community can expect such surges as this, we will naturally, naturally see all the consequences that I have described in Springfield. And so when these will happen in other communities, we will see these things happen again. Governor Mike DeWine of Ohio a short time ago, a news conference about the situation in Springfield and tonight, Ohio's governor addressing a story that's been in the national spotlight, the surge in the migrant population in that area, Springfield, Ohio. Yeah, and so Governor DeWine now says that the surge is creating a big strain on resources within the city. And so today, during that news conference, he announced new support. This all comes as city leaders just addressed the media as well, trying to clear up any misinformation from the past couple of days. WLWT News Science Chris Jacobs joining us live from Springfield tonight with the new details. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hey guys, well, Governor DeWine saying the city of Springfield was not ready for the demand in health screenings or the demand in vaccinations, along with the number of new students who were learning English as a second language. Now, this announcement came as the city is being named by several prominent figures surrounding this recent influx of Haitian migrants. Now, according to the city's website, uh, Springfield has experienced a population surge over the last several years, primarily due to an influx of legal immigrants choosing Springfield as their new home. Now, the total immigrant population is estimated to be around 12,000 to 15,000 in Clark County. Now, Springfield only has a population of 58,000. City officials one of the saying one of the challenges they're facing is a lack of resources to provide for this increase in population. But they also called on residents in the city to be mindful of their words. I think just because there has been so such a quick influx of individuals in our community over such a short amount of time, it looks like it was organized, but it was like not organized by the government. We have not received one dime for immigrants coming into our community, not one. I think the important thing is we need to com come together as a community, and what we're doing is we're letting uh, these rumors, this national rhetoric, com rhetoric come into our community and divide us. And like, like we said earlier, there's things we need to focus on, but because we're focusing on um, X post and Facebook posts, trying to squelch those rumors, it's causing, it takes a lot of time to make sure we're, we're giving the truth back. Now, the City of Springfield City Commission will be holding a meeting that's coming up at 7 o'clock, and we'll have that covered for you tonight at 11. Reporting live in Springfield, Chris Jacobs, WLWT News 5.